What's up everyone? Ben here, sounding the air raid siren because we've got another royally messy situation on our hands. And this time Prince Harry is right in the thick of it. You already know I've been gleefully looking at this hot mess of a wife, Meghan, for the latest shenanigans trying to sabotage Kate Middleton over the Mother Day photo debacle. And it turns out the Duke himself may have played a more direct role. Now I know you guys are excited to hear more about this, but before we move on, I'd like to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now. And don't forget to press the all-important bell icon too. Let's get started. So now, how's that for a shocking revelation to start things off? According uh, to uh, noted Megan Lapdog and Truth Massage Omid Scobie, the palace supreme's very own hubby was somehow involved in manipulating the Mother's Day pics. I'll give you a look in a minute. I mean, we all knew Harry was wrapped around Meghan's little fingers, but uh, the intention of the defrauding the public with imagery, that's very twisted, even for these two grifters. Although I guess we shouldn't be too surprised that the disgraced prince would debase himself on her behalf. So, Scobie made the point for the little storm here. Issuing statements on behalf of the family without their permission is what made this scandal all the more damaging to their credibility. And he would know, being one of Meghan's primary PR hamsters. For those who missed it, Harry previously accused the palace machine of putting out an official statement in his name denouncing bullying without actually running it by him first. Can you imagine having such little autonomy or respect within your own family institution that they feel empowered to literally put words in your mouth? Well, according to the spare heir himself, that's exactly what went down when the accused claims about him and William beefing first surfaced. Now, Harry recalled being blindsided by a denial statement in the bullying story ran in a UK newspaper about the relationship between the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. He then claimed that after the palace lied on their behalf, without consent of Megzilla of mass destruction, burst into floods of tears of the latest example of the institution showing blatant disregard for protecting the sacrificial lambs. Now, they were called out for hypocrisy, abuse, or overall terribleness by former staffers. So, with the rich history of the palace, betrayals and bad faith looming over Brand Sussex, you can see why the seemingly minor photo edit in discretion blew up in such a capital case for Scobie and his prima donna employers. I'll give credit where credit is due, though. The man has clearly mastered the art of contriving plausible deniability and manufactured umbrage to absolve his petty venomous cash cows of any blame. He openly admits that if this was an isolated incident, it would just be an unfortunate error, but quickly pivots to rehashing conspiracies. I mean, I can totally picture the scene of Meg overlording over him, sneering through the sickeningly protuberant teeth, demanding to get on the blower. Use your petulant birthright to make them release the photo, and exactly as I distort it, she commands dig it firmly planted on her sneer. And like the broken little divorcee's little divorcee's son, he became Harry nodded sheepishly and made it. Whoever ended up succumbing to his spoiled demand and publishing this disfigured Mother's Day atrocity, their goose was immediately cooked. So what will happen next in the Sussex saga? Only time will tell. I'll be back soon with more scalding hot tea. But before closing, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and share the video. We'll see you next time.